my name is Adrian Johnson and I'm Director of Publications here at the Royal United Services Institute. And we're in the Rusi Library, uh, which is a very interesting place. Some of the great defence and security thinkers have done their work here. So, for example, uh, Basil Littlehart did a lot of research here in the uh, interwar period. The great irony being that actually, rather than the, the, the British using his theories of armoured warfare, it was the Germans who then adopted it. Rusi is a apolitical uh, institution, so it's, it's strictly non-partisan. And what it tries to do is inform the public and policy debate over defence and security policy in the UK, but also uh, more globally. In my role of Director of Publications, I work on things like the Rusi Journal, which is one of the world's leading journals on defence and security and is read worldwide. Uh, we also do books and other monographs. And we also do uh, briefing papers and other occasional papers, which are smaller publications that are designed to have an immediate policy impact on the great questions of the day. Um, after my undergraduate degree, I went to King's College War Studies to do an MA in Conflict, Security and Development, uh, which I found to be an incredibly useful degree. Um, not only do I use the subject matter knowledge that I picked up, so you know the, the links between development and conflict, uh, the nature of civil war and international efforts to build peace, um, perhaps most important was the spirit of critical inquiry that you, you learn to, uh, to undertake uh, while doing the degree. So the idea that you know, um, one very useful thing I learned was, was to embrace uncertainty, that the more you know about a topic, actually, the more you realise how much more there is still to know. Um, but nevertheless, being confident in coming to measured conclusions, which is such a useful skill to have in a, in a policy environment. I uh, had a pretty good relationship, actually, with, all, with the three professors I had at King's. So uh, Professor Matt Spadal, uh, Professor Jack Spence and Peter Bush. Um, I keep in touch with them all today. Um, and actually, one thing I really liked about King's was that you would have seminars with the professors, uh, with the senior members of staff. So you weren't sort of palmed off with some TA. Uh, you actually got, you know, the world experts in the field, uh, probing you, challenging you, but also teaching you a lot. And what struck me very quickly when I arrived at King's was how motivated and how, how talented everyone was. You know, we'd all come from different backgrounds. So in my first lecture, to my right was someone who'd come straight from their, from their BA like I had. Uh, but to my left was someone with uh, you know, 20, 30 years of journalistic experience. So this variety you had in your seminars um, meant that you had a, a variety of uh, perspectives, experiences, and also different kinds of knowledge so people knew about different areas, often from first-hand experience. And since then, I've, I've kept in touch with a lot of friends from King's. Um, they've all gone to do uh, great and good things. Um, one of them uh, has worked for the UN on a, on a mediation. Um, others work for uh, NGOs doing very interesting work in the field, but also in national capitals. And you know, some have also gone into the private sector. So it's a, it's a really good network to know. I'd certainly do it again. And because there, there's so much uh, you know, to, to learn, and my, my only regret was that I couldn't do more modules because so many of them, you know, it was difficult to choose the ones I did. And while I have no regrets that, you know, I went for diplomacy, reporting wars, and my core modules, obviously. There were so many other interesting choices. You know, I'd love to, love to go back and give those a go. I was very fortunate to uh, have the world expert on my topic as my supervisor. So I did a dissertation on the disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration of former combatants after civil war. And Professor Mats Badal was my supervisor. Well, aside from the quality of the course and the teaching, uh, the fact that you're in the middle of London means you have a tremendously good proximity to loads of policy-relevant institutions, whether it be the Foreign Office, Ministry of Defence, DFID, but also think tanks like RUSI, Chatham House, and the IISS. I think uh, a degree from King's, uh, the, the more you put into it, the more you get out. And I think what I, what I learnt was that um, you know, you, you worked very hard. Uh, the expectations of the students are very high. Um, but the facilities were brilliant. Uh, the Moore Library is probably one of the best I've ever been to in the world. And you know, you're, you're challenged, you're, you're tested, um, but you, I think you, you learn to develop a sort of self-confidence in your analysis that you know, if, you can, if you can make it at King's, you can make it anywhere.